A short vision is exactly that. A short six-minute animation that bluntly and brutally depicts a vision of the end of the world. For my money, 65 years later and far removed from the nuclear threat it symbolized, a short vision remains one of the most haunting animations out there. I looked out through the window and saw it approaching from the deep, blind sky. Do not be fooled by the old gentlemanly British narrator. This is not Paddington. This is not the wind in the willows. Yes, he speaks of animals, but he does not detail their adventures or penchant for marmalade sandwiches. No, he speaks of their unanimous mortal terror. Due to an unidentified ominous object hurtling through the sky, the animal kingdom sets aside their differences, and all as one cower in fear. The human race sleep peacefully, with the exception of the leaders and wise men, who watch the approaching object, hopeless and helpless to change the rapidly incoming event. Like so many horror and sci-fi films of the 1950s, A Short Vision and its creators, a husband and wife team, are clearly inspired and terrified by humanity's violent entrance into the atomic age. But by depicting these familiar themes under the guise of a simple animation, the flat suddenly takes on a more uncomfortable understanding. There are no American soldiers saving the day here, no campy comic relief, nothing but plain, cold, hard annihilation. Observe. Look here, this poor man tries to shield his eyes from the blaze, but the heat burns off his eyelid, pops his eyeballs like jelly, and Indiana Jones is the fuck out of his skull. Jesus Christ. Bear in mind, this was famously broadcast on the Ed Sullivan Show, of all places. Picture the nuclear family hopping over their white picket fence to catch the latest episode in time, settling down for good old-fashioned family entertainment. Suddenly, there's cute owls being torn apart, beautiful women turning to dust. It's a very quick watch, so I heartily recommend it. Which sounds a bit weird, considering the downbeat content, but it's a snappy, blunt piece of horrifying media with a strong, clear message. Watch it for the soundtrack alone by the Hungarian-born composer Matthias Schaeber, fresh from working on another infamous animation, Animal Farm. The journey from trembling high strings and janky piano stabs to a full-on cacophony of terror when the destruction begins is a stroke of genius. The end. Yeah, you got that fucking right.